Meanwhile, San Diego County's largest school district, San Diego Unified, says it's tentatively looking to bring students back into the classroom in January, but that all depends, of course, on the pandemic. Fox 5's Jamie Chambers is live in University Heights, where parents are holding a rally to push to reopen sooner. Jamie. That's exactly right. The groups uh, have gathered, two separate groups have gathered here at the headquarters of San Diego Unified. Take a look at some of these pictures from Sky Fox as they all start to pour in and really ask to move the dates up, try to get these people back into school faster um, as the school district starts to take a little bit more of a precautionary uh, measure as they move forward with this as they monitor the COVID cases. It's a cautious approach to reopening the county's largest school district, and officials for San Diego Unified stress that they are taking their cues from the top scientists at UCSD for the best ways to move forward safely. We've spent more than $45 million preparing our schools to reopen in the safest and most responsible ways possible. We've not cut corners, and we will not cut corners. Currently, special circumstance students who have been struggling with their online education at home can schedule in-person learning, and there have been a few thousand students who are able to get in front of a teacher. Today, the district announced that if COVID cases stay low and federal funding to protect students is sent, along with teachers' unions okaying the plan, they could have students back in-person learning January 4th for elementary students and January 25th for middle and high school students. Phase two will have our elementary students uh, divided between AM and PM sessions to allow social distancing with fewer students in the classroom. Middle and high school students will attend two days in person to reduce the number of students in the classroom. But in both cases, families will have the option of distance learning if the students or family members are medically fragile. The district's phase two reopening is possibly undercut by spikes in COVID-19. Then the San Diego Unified officials say that if the county falls into the purple tier, they would have to reevaluate their planned reopening. When a positive case comes onto campus, it won't spread to other students or staff. That's the, that's the measure that um, we are going to evaluate safety based on. And back here live out at the protest in front of the headquarters here at San Diego Unified. These are separate groups coming together, all of them certainly politically motivated, fired up. They say that they want to change in the school board and they are absolutely fighting to get people back in class as fast as possible. That's the very latest from University Heights, Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News.